Hi, my name is Jennifer Patterson and this is my philosophy application video. My philosophy as a reading specialist is to foster an environment where learning is valued, where learning is continued, and students and educators become leaders of their own learning. It is also to create a passion for reading and language within students, and that passion follows them throughout their life. Also, to remain focused on students and make sure that coaching is student-centered and data-driven. Also, to build environments that have social collaboration and learning. I want to become a model of lifelong learning, and I want to keep up with current research and continue my own learning. And then last is to build professional relationships and be a model of what professional relationships look like. Building my philosophy is a process that happened over time and through a lot of my own personal learning. I took into consideration theories and theorists as well as the Alabama Reading Initiative and coaching model, knowledge of foundations and word recognition, language comprehension, classroom strategies, and reading and writing connections, as well as my own professional judgment that I've learned along the way. Engagement theory is the first theory that I connected to my own personal philosophy. Engagement theory seeks to explain the difference between engaged readers and disengaged readers. It also talks about how we can intrinsically motivate students to want to learn and read and how intrinsic motivation is a powerful conductor of learning. Classroom practices associated with engagement theory include the use of themes, um, student choice, hands-on activities, also using a variety of different texts and different genres, as well as social collaboration. This aligns with my goal of creating lifelong readers who enjoy reading. Lev Vygotsky's social constructivism is the second theory that I aligned with my philosophy. It's about learning through social interactions. It includes things such as the zone of proximal development, scaffolding, and differentiated instruction. Classroom applications that can be tied to this theory are the use of literacy centers, shared reading and writing experiences, peer reading or buddy reading, as well as uh, literature circles. I also connected to the Alabama Reading Initiative. They describe a coach's job and purpose by saying that a coach is there to improve teacher practice so that all students learn and achieve at the highest levels. Pieces of the Alabama Reading Initiative that were very important to me were the coaching cycle as well as the winsome human relations skills. The ARI coaching cycle begins with looking at student data and creating targets for student needs. There's also an opportunity for pre-planning. This pre-planning is important. It allows teachers and coaches to get all the necessary materials prepared and go into the planning already prepared. And then that way the planning is more productive. There's also time for observing and reflecting. Time for reflection is huge and very impactful for learning. Next is debriefing, facilitating professional learning, teaching, and facilitating professional conversations. The winsome human relations skills connect back to my goal of creating a community of collaboration, as well as my goal of building professional relationships with teachers. These human relations skills allow the reading specialist to be a model for teachers as well as students. Having certain foundational knowledge is really important for a reading specialist, such as word recognition knowledge. One of the things that I've learned is the importance of having a systematic phonics instruction in place. I've also learned the importance of this being sequenced instruction and having strategies in place for teaching students word recognition. It is also important for a reading specialist to have knowledge of classroom strategies. 
in the areas of phonemic awareness, phonics, fluency, vocabulary, and comprehension. This gives them a toolbox for working with teachers and students. It allows the reading specialist to be able to meet the needs of a variety of situations. Language comprehension is an indicator of success in reading, and a reading specialist needs to have knowledge of the foundations of language comprehension, as well as knowledge of activities and strategies for helping students. Activities related to language comprehension are things like listening to a, a variety of stories, having time for discussion with peers, having vocabulary development embedded in lessons, and atten intentionally teaching the structure of language. These, this would include like syntax, semantics, morphology, and things along those lines. Knowledge of reading and writing connections is also very important. It's very important for us to help students to realize the connection between reading and writing. To help students see this bridge, you can use the same vocabulary terms in reading as well as writing. Also, uh, use literature to teach writing skills. It's also important if you're reading about a genre to include time for writing in that genre and relating um, spell. I've acquired a lot of professional judgment through learning and reading and researching. One of my favorite pieces of information came from the book Whisperer by Donalyn Miller. She talks about the key components of a reading block. It includes time, time for students to read and get into the reading flow. It has choice. Students need the opportunity to choose reading materials for themselves. It also has a time for response. Students should respond in natural ways, just like adults who are reading books through conferences, written form, class discussions, even projects. It also includes community. Students are a part of a classroom reading community, and all of the members can contribute to the group. And last is structure. The workshop rests on a structure of routines. Without those routines and procedures, the rest, the time, choice, response, and community pieces can't fall into place. I've also learned a lot about coaching through Student-Centered Coaching, a guide for K-8 through coaches and principals by Diane Sweeney. I've learned about setting specific targets for students, making sure that they're based on the standards and the curriculum and what students need. I've also learned a lot about working collaboratively with teachers to ensure that these targets are met. Through all of my learning, I feel much more prepared to work with teachers and students and to help students and teachers to become leaders of their own learning and to build communities that appreciate reading and have a passion for reading. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my philosophy video.